Good morning dear students. Today we are going to revise chapter number 1 plants around us. So I'm back with my new video only for you. So let's get started. Dear students, we studied about plants in chapter 1, but let's revise it again. Plants are eternal beauty on our planet Earth. They are present around us everywhere, in the parks, roadside, school campus or garden area. Plants are very important for our daily life as they provide us oxygen to breathe and oxygen is the basic necessity for every living organism. We can see different types of plants in our daily life such as big plants or small plants. Plants can be of various types. Now do you know what plants actually are? Living organisms deep rooted inside the earth having different parts like roots, leaf and stem they are known as plants. And plants are really very essential as they are very useful for us and plants provide us fruits, vegetables, pulses, spices, beverages and medicines. So plants are of great importance to each and every one of us. Reproduction. Reproduction is a fundamental feature in every living being. Plants also reproduce just like humans or animals as reproduction is very essential in every living creature. Without reproduction, we cannot survive in this whole world and world would be empty. So do you know what reproduction is all about? The process by which living organisms produce new organisms of their own kind. It means if a plant will reproduce, so plant will reproduce a baby plant and humans will reproduce a baby human and animals will reproduce a baby animal of their own kind. Plants reproduce through various processes: Reproduction through stem, reproduction through roots, reproduction through leaves and reproduction through seeds. We are having four different kinds of reproduction in this chapter. 1. When plants reproduce with the help of their stem is known as reproduction through stem. Basically, stem is very important factor in this kind of a reproduction. For example, rose plant or a potato. Now, roots. When a plant reproduce with the help of its roots, for example, carrots or turnips. Reproduction through leaves. When a pl plants reproduce with the help of the leaves, for example, bryophyllum. Reproduction through seeds. When a plants reproduce with the help of their seeds is known as reproduction through seeds. For example, bean seed or chickpeas. Now leaves are really very important in a plant life as you can see here various functions of a leaf. Leaf is also known as powerhouse of a plant. It helps in exchange of gases. It also helps in photosynthesis process. That means leaves are major part which helps in making their own food. Leaves also turns light energy into food. So leaves are very essential in plants. Now let's move on to the topic germination. Germination is equally important as compared to reproduction or any other topic. Now, do you know what's germination? The process by which seed grows into a new plant is known as germination. Okay? And certain factors are there which is very much required in this germination process. We are having four factors sunlight, air, water and nutrients. They are very essential for growth of a baby plant. In the absence of all this, a baby plant will not be able to develop properly. So let's move on to the process of germination. Seeds are buried inside the soil. After some time, seeds develop new roots. 
which grow downwards in search of water as water is very essential for growth of a baby plant so it will just move downwards after that shoot grows upward towards sunlight for their further growth and cotyledons cotyledons provide food to the growing plant leaves appear at the shoot side and finally here you can see leaves new leaves are coming from this plant and roots are developing more and more so finally the young plant is now called a seedling so this is your process of germination so moving on to our next topic it's pollination transfer of pollen grains from anther of a flower to the stigma of same or another flower is called pollination and pollination helps in seed dispersal so pollination is also very important in dispersal of a seed look at this chart you will be able to learn it very properly in our previous video we studied about male parts and female parts how they function accordingly now seed dispersal is our next topic the process by which seeds travel away or scattered away from the parent plant is known as seed dispersal and seed dispersal is really very important for growing more and more kinds of crops or you can say different varieties of products we are having four kinds of seed dispersal over here dispersal by wind dispersal by water dispersal by animals and dispersal by force when seeds are carried away by wind it is known as dispersal by wind for example dandelion seeds when seeds are carried away by water it is known as dispersal by water for example coconut if seeds are carried away by animals or humans it is known as dispersal by animals for example different kinds of seeds like a mango seed or an apple seed some plants forcefully scatter their seeds also called dispersal by explosion or dispersal by force for example pea plant our next topic is crops crops are really very important part of our daily routine we cannot survive without crops as crops fulfills our daily requirements we need to have crops in our every diet plants of the same kind that are grown in very large quantity are called crops and we are having two types of crops over here kharif crops and rabi crops crops that are grown usually during monsoon season they are known as kharif crops and the crops that are grown after monsoon season they are known as rabi crops we can also call it as spring crops crops that are grown during june till october end is known as kharif crops and crops that are grown from november till april end they are known as rabi crops and examples of kharif crops are rice maize and cotton an example of rabi crops are wheat barley and peas so both crops are very important but agricultural practices are also important for growing certain kinds of crops and we are having different kinds of agricultural practices over here plowing adding manure and fertilizers sowing irrigation protection of crops harvesting and storage these all are really very important for growth of a plant if you want to have crops then we must practice all kind of steps so this was all about chapter number 1 plants around us i hope you understood the chapter well and you will revise it again and again and you will study in a good manner till then stay safe stay healthy and 
Don't forget to like and subscribe to my video for latest notification. Goodbye.